Hi. Welcome one. Welcome all. I love how I just did like a whole intro bit, but my mic was muted. Isn't that the best? <laughs> Anyways, we're here. Tonight hopefully we can finish Jack and Daxter as I sit here and finagle with these uh, stream settings. I just want to test the audio, make sure it's all good. So we're going to start the game. I apologize, that one's always pretty loud, that fucking startup menu. Had to load game, and we were... Which one were we at? We were definitely at 66. Because we didn't complete the, uh... We didn't complete the stuff at Mountain Pass, right? So... Let's just test the audio real quick. Make sure nothing's messed up. Do a couple of moves. And I'm gonna see if the game is too loud or if I'm too loud. Hopefully fix that up. So give me a hot second, please. And just like that, we're back. Are you yawning on me, Jack? I'm sorry, Jack. Am I am I boring you? If I am, I apologize. Anyways, where we last left off, we, um, if I can remember correctly. First of all, I just want to make sure everything's going fine with the stream. Everything seems to be good. Last stream during the Sly Cooper thing, I forgot to have the audio set up for the stream alerts. So that was weird. <laughs> and then, um... Yeah, so last time we left off, Jack and Daxter, we just finished Mountain Pass. We just got to, uh, whatever the hell this place is called, Volcanic Crater, I think, right? That's what it's called? Yeah, there we go, Volcanic Crater. And we, um, we found out that Gol and Maya, the people who are supposed to be saving Daxter, are also the people that we're up against. So, over here in Volcanic Crater, it's not as big as a area as the, um... As the previous ones. Rock Village is probably my least, my least favorite. It's my least favorite, like, like area of... Rock Village itself I like. It's just that the swamp and uh, the Lost City and everything else I don't like. It's more of just an aesthetic thing. As for gameplay, it's all pretty good. You know, it's pretty fair. Man, I've been playing my PS3 all day, so... This controller... I'm not used to it anymore. Let's see, how many precursor ores we have? We can grab two over here. Seek the pure light, for within its flame, the answers reside. You can gain my power cells by bringing 120 precursor orbs for each. You have obtained another power cell. You have obtained another power cell. Why, thank you. Thank you very much. Let's get that other one. Just get it out the way. So here in Volcanic Crater, right? We have the, uh... I think it's called Snowy Peak. The mountain we can climb. We also have the Spider Caves. And finishing the rest of, uh, Mountain Pass. And that's pretty much it for Volcanic Crater. There's not that much. But with that said, I don't like the Spider Caves. It's no secret that... I don't like spiders in general, but that's not why I don't like the spider caves. I don't like the spider caves just because of the layout. So over here, we can meet both a bird brain and a hothead. It's actually pretty hilarious. I like these guys. They're pretty cool. Them for no, 
on your feet. Where have I heard that before? Hey, how do you two geniuses expect to get that big gem out of here anyway? Well, smarty pants, we got 12 more years of digging to figure that out. Uh, Gordy, wouldn't it take less time if you don't? I feel so sad for that guy. How many orbs do we have? Oh. We can grab two of them. All right already. Here's a power cell for those orbs of yours. Thank you. We will put this power cell to great use. So I believe you can't activate the um the uh gondola up to the snowy mountain unless you have seventy two power cells? I'm sorry, what? Oh. Did I do my math wrong? I think I did my math wrong. I'm pretty sure I did. I thought I could have gotten two. My bad. Yeah, I sh I'm supposed to have 180 for two. Not 130. I don't know why the hell I thought that. So. Did I run past one of the um things over here? No, that was the one that I just broke. Okay, cool. So towards this direction has a gondola right oh cool I guess we only need like 70 precursor orbs I mean not precursor orbs what the fuck they're called power cells it's been a while I really don't remember how many um power cells you need to unlock the gondola but it's alright you know we have enough we can go up here because I personally like to deal with the snowy peak uh, beforehand, before we head to the spider caves. Because spider caves is just... It's not bad. It's just I don't like the layout. Especially a certain area in there where you gotta do, like, a lot of platforming. I mean, surprise, surprise. We have to do platforming in a platformer, right? So over here, in the deep snows, these lurkers are gonna constantly pop up. And we also gotta activate these switches. There's about, I want to say 20 or 30 of them? Maybe that's too much. For some reason, I feel like there's like 30 of them. Hop down here. Grab this. Come on, Jack. And that's our first scout fly for the area. I do like the soundtrack for this place, though. It's pretty nice. Pretty, um, pretty laid back, pretty chill. It reminds me of Cold Man's theme for, uh... Megman, uh, Megman X and Base, Megman X and Base, what am I saying? Megman and Base, the game that we only got, <laughs> we only got the, the shitty, uh, Game Boy Advance port of here in the West, while Japan had the, uh, the great NES, oh my god, did I really just do that? First death, guys, first death of the stream, that's what we do, that's what we do here. Listen, I promise nothing. I never said I was good at this game. Did I promise that? No, I didn't. Alright. That boulder barely touched me, but whatever. Boulder, snowball, whatever you want to call. Hopefully I don't fuck this one up. There we go. I do not like this pathway. It is too narrow. Alright. Uh, gotta grab that orb. Let's not forget it. Come on. There you go. Head up here. Oh. Recorrect that jump. We were not gonna make that a double jump. There we go. Teeter off the edge of that. And over here, if you're ever low on life, you can honestly just farm these guys. As long as you don't get your ass handed to you. But we're not gonna do that. You know, if we die, we die. That's how life works, you know? Sometimes, death just... Just takes you by surprise with its sweet embrace. But over here... I'm gonna grab this. I believe we can break those boxes. With the... When we're charged up with ready go. I might be wrong about that. Yeah, I'm 100% I'm wrong about that. I never actually tried it. So over here, you can deal with the lovely ice physics. And 
pray that that doesn't happen. Because, out of my way, motherfucker. Because nothing's worse than getting knocked around like a fucking pinball with ice physics. Alright. Alright, I should have gotten that one. If you ever need to do a quick turn on the ice, just do a quick little roll, right? Change your trajectory. There we go. Don't have to worry about that. I don't think there's anything over here for us besides those, those precursor orb boxes, so let's just grab these. And then we'll be on our merry way. Alright, so moving on. Over here we got these two guys. You know. Just give them the quick one-two, right? Come on, stop jumping around, buddy. Come here. I don't want to run into them by accident. Alright, you little dodgy prick. There we go. And then once you defeat the enemies here, this guy will jump off. In which you need the red eco in order to in order to break that shield of his. So head over here. Charge ourselves up with the power of the Kaioken. And beat the shit out of that guy. There's a total of three of them in this level. We need to get all three of them to grant us a power cell. I forgot why they're here. They're like I think they're just trying to destroy the precursor ruins or something. I don't know. They're trying to do something here by breaking the ice. And we're here to stop them. That's all I know. You know, he gave me a goal. I set out to do it. I jump. I hop and I skip. And over here, we have our last section with the Flut Flut Bird. I think that's how you pronounce it. Flut Flut or some shit. I always fuck this up. It's a timed... It's a timed uh, platforming section. And these platforms will move and elevate up and down. And if that wasn't bad enough... Camera's really not helping me right now. That wasn't bad enough. You also have to deal with... Grabbing some precursor orbs. Yep, that was a far jump. Definitely wasn't making that one. But at least you don't have to deal with ice physics. Man, definitely playing this game after Sly Cooper. The camera does not feel friendly. <laughs> it's too fast. <laughs> Sly Cooper, the camera was a little bit more, uh... A little bit more, uh, taking its time, you know what I mean? It was slower. I'm gonna wait for that. Alright. And the last section over here, the most difficult. Try not to overdo it. That's a far jump. Alright. Not too hard. Thankfully, the bird has really good control, actually. They should have put more of those type of sections in uh, the sequels. But the mounted animals and stuff, you barely use in the sequels. I feel like you use it less than you do here. Alright. Now that the Flut Flut's here, he's on the transport pad. We have a nice little shortcut so we don't have to do that over again. Isn't that nice? Isn't that lovely? Look at that. Right? Puts us up here. Don't worry about that area. I believe we just opened this area when we were down there. We won't worry about that yet. I always like to do that area last. If I can. There's a switch over here too. So, let's not forget about that. Sorry, my arm itch right there.
Okay. Alright. That was bad timing on my part. Good job. Come on. Come on. Grab that orb. There you go. Good job, Jack. So you want to jump up here. If the ice will allow me to. Because over here... Should lead us to... Is this a shortcut? This might be a shortcut, actually. It will lead us to a scout fly, though. That I do remember. Yeah. I believe this is a shortcut back up. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, it is a shortcut back up. Okay. Can we make this jump? I don't think so. Or is it right directly below us? Yeah, we're good. Just make sure to do your little spin so you don't have all that momentum going down and you curse splat on the fucking pavement. So over here, we have more switches we can jump on. I'm gonna start crying with this ice physics shit. Oh, hold on, we can just hop over here. Take it the easy way. All right, cool. Over here, this is a little bit more challenging. Because you got two enemies and ice physics, and if you hit those barriers, you're gonna get knocked back. Come here, come here, you little bastard. Come here, where are you? That little bastard's gonna be the death of me, I know it. All right, cool. The worst thing you possibly do is fuck these jumps up. So, I'm gonna try and line myself up. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Damn it. It's alright. I'm surprised I didn't get hit by that guy. Excuse me. Come on, little guy, come here. I promise I won't hurt you. Alright. Now let's just angle ourselves back up. Oh my god. So much momentum. Good job. And over here, you want some momentum. Make some clean jumps. Oh, come on, I was on that. And you know it. That time I wasn't. But that's okay. Now over here... We have... Alright, I almost killed myself doing that. We have this lovely section. As if jumping on those panels weren't hard enough. Oh, this is a different section. This is the little lurker cave. Good thing they gave us this. Wow, I'm surprised I didn't get hit that time. Usually every time I get there, I get hit at least twice. I'm surprised that I made a good run that time. Okay. Head over here. It's a nice little shortcut for us to jump through. And we're back over here. Now this leads us to where those snowballs were coming from in the beginning area, if I remember correctly. And what we want to do... Sorry, I thought I saw something. What we want to do is make our way up here. Shouldn't be too difficult. Along the way, grab these. Alright, come on. Jack, you know you had that.
these things are really fucking finicky sometimes. Almost ran straight into that. Over here, there should be another guy with the, um, whatchamacallit. Alright. That little guy caught me by surprise. And make sure, head over here, mine the snowballs, grab your Kaioken, run over here, fuck this guy up, and you're good. Grab your precursor orbs, and we shall skedaddle and move on. careful over here because of that. Ah, where did this come from? I think that might be for uh, doing the switches, right? Deactivate the precursor blockers. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Over here, this leads back to down here. It's a pretty safe jump. Said no one ever. You know? I'm like, it's okay, guys. Take a leap of faith. Nothing bad will ever happen. I lied. I spoke too soon. Alright. Beat that guy up. So over here, betwixt the trees... As if ice physics weren't bad enough. Yeah, this little section. So, time it correctly. And pray that you over don't overjump that because you carry all that ice momentum. You know, time your jumps, take your time. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. This jump sucks, because your goddamn camera's all fucked, and you can run straight into a, to one of those blockers, like that! And if you fuck it up, you gotta do it all over again. This is definitely, definitely my least favorite part of this area. I'm not gonna lie, that one was my fault. I couldn't remember there was like an area to do a little long jump at, but I think I might just be remembering it wrong. If I didn't rush it, probably would have made that one, no problem. Up here? Over here? All right. Okay. Oh man. Can you tell that I definitely don't like this area? Mm. Yep. That was just a goof. A goof of a moment. Ice physics are not fun. I don't know why people think they are. You know what sucks about ice physics? Most of the time, the areas in the game themselves are actually pretty good looking, you know? You head to the snow level, you're all happy. You're like, yeah, this is great. And then you hit the ice physics and you're like, man, this sucks. I think Mario started it. I really gotta, like, look and time this correctly. Over here. All right, we're good. We're crystal. We made it. Nice job. And here you activate the yellow eco vents. Last time we have to do that. And now that we activate this, once we're done with Snow Peak, we can head to um. I believe this place is called Snow Peak. I just keep calling it that. What is this place called? 
Snowy Mountain, my bad. I'm thinking of Freeze Easy Peak from Banjo Kazooie. But, um, now that we unlock that, I don't think there's any way, I don't think there's no shortcut back, so you just might as well just off yourself. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, game. I didn't know you did that. Huh. Isn't that lovely? Unexpected is unexpected. So, all we have left is to deal with the rest of those uh, precursor guys. I forgot what they're called, the shield men. Which, I'm trying to remember where the last one's at. I believe he's up there, actually. So let's head that way. Grab your scout fly. Head over here. And wait for our lovely elevator. If these guys... Well, give me a chance. There we go. Over here, don't forget your precursor orbs. Alright, so this leads up here. Huh. wonder where that other guy's at. I just want to grab these precursor orbs while we're here. We'll run into the guy when we see him. And then over here, we can deal with this. This whole section. It's not too bad. It's pretty easy. There are some ice physics to be had. But for the most part, you know, nothing too bad. Make sure you jump up here. Up here is Blue Eco. In which, I'm pretty sure there's probably a better way to do this, but I like to not fall off. I like to grab the blue eco, jump off, do a little bit of that, and then grab these. And we almost have enough to get all the precursor orbs from the rest of those uh, miners. So once we head back, we're going to do that. here. Punch the shit out of this guy. Ba bam He never knew what was coming. I don't wanna... Alright, there we go. Didn't wanna mess up that jump. Get hit by that guy. I think I only got like two hits left. That was pretty lucky. Not gonna lie. I didn't know that uh, part had ice physics on it. I thought that was later on. These guys are not nice. Because with their knockback. Don't know why there's knockback in this game. But, you know, the knockback, they can push you off. If you don't push yourself off trying to get them. So don't think about them too much. Actually, make sure you... Oh, shit. They came for a vengeance. Make sure you step here. Get a nice little shortcut. up here. Grab the scout fly. We have one more left, which should be over here as well, if I remember correctly. I don't think it is. There's a precursor orb up there. I gotta go back and grab that. So, hop on down. Right? Did I go straight under that guy? All right, well, forget about you. You're not too important. Over here, I believe this is covered in ice, maybe? Nope. Thinking of something else. Thinking of... Thinking of that little part, maybe. I don't know. It's been a while. Don't remember too much. I'm 
try my best not to mess this up. Not to look like a goof. Alright, we made it. Cool. Up here, grab a precursor orb. Claim thy prize. Feel good about yourself. Pat yourself on the back. You did a great job. Except for you, Daxter. You suck. You didn't do... You did absolutely nothing. You, you slam dunked that parasol pretty hard, though. It's kind of cool, I guess. Over there looking like Michael Jordan. The bootleg version, of course. My man out here trying out for Space Jam. He's trying out for the sequel. He said, wait, who's in the sequel? Shaq? I got it. It's on lockdown. That role is mine. I don't think there's anything over here besides these mooks. Just mooking about. Being a fucking goon. Over here gooning in the snow. Hinching. Foiling my plans. Alright. Cool. Let's hop on down here. Kill yourself? Nope. Over here is where the last guy should be. I should actually grab that ego first. He's gonna kill me. Alright. Bam. Grab your Kaioken. Make a mad dash. Not really, though. You got, you got more time to spare than anything. But make sure to kill these guys. I have nothing to say for that. That was just... That was just embarrassing. That was a improper display. Can you give me some breathing room, please? Thank you. Oh, here's the last scout fly. I would have had to hunt this one down. Excuse me, sir. I'm trying to celebrate my victories over here. You give me a moment. Use my stand power and freeze the fucking world. Get out of here, you goon. You absolute goon. Over here hinching. Grunting around. Over here being a grunt. Not even like a proper Team Rocket grunt. You ain't even you ain't even Cassidy and fucking Butch. Over here gooning like like Jesse and James. Say what you want about Jesse and James, they got heart. They've been gooning their whole lives. My man James left a fortune to be a goon. <laughs> oh James, I feel bad for you sometimes. But he's living his best life. Oh, they're getting messed up by his own Pokemon. That fucking guy. That goddamn goon. Who's that guy? So, what else do we have left, actually? We have... Yes, I know exactly what we got left. And how many Precursor Orbs we have? I'm missing fucking seven of them? Uh, huh. I think I might know where they're at. If I don't die like a fucking loser first, I think I'm actually going the wrong way. No, I'm going the right way. They should be over here, right? No, they're not over here. They're somewhere else. They're somewhere else. They're over... They're over here. But first of all, we gotta make our way over here. Grab that eco vent. This guy's about to foil my plans. He's waiting. He's plotting. Look at him. Oh, they have arms. I always thought that they didn't have arms. Got little baby arms. Like a fucking... Like a T-Rex. Alright. So take your shot. I pressed the shot button and he didn't do it. Power ourselves up again. Be careful on this edge because it's kind of goofy. Grab that. And then for our last precursor orbs, they should be in those boxes. So, just make sure. Oh my god. Yeah, we gotta get over there. And they're over here hiding in the snow. Gotta play hide and seek with some precursor orbs. Pretty sure there's more in here. There we go. There we go. I don't like how they hide in the snow, but that's pretty much it for, uh, he's about to kill me. Turn the tables on him. 
that's pretty much it for Snow Mountain. And that's good. And then all we gotta do is just make our way back. Take our sweet time. Shouldn't be that hard. Said no one ever. Uh, we can go this way. I believe we can make it back fairly easily. Oh my god. Don't jump straight in front of me like that. You scare me. You startle me. Over here giving me surprise hugs and shit. And if I know anything about surprise hugs, then Sonic told me that's no good. I'll say no thanks to that. Walk the other way. Keep it stepping. Alright. So now we're done with Snowy Mountain. And we got a lot of precursor orbs. We can go hand those over to the uh, Bird Brain and Hothead. Collect those. Um, Why the fuck do I keep calling them precursor orbs? They just roll off the tongue. I think it's because precursor orbs stay around for the next games and power cells are only for this game. You never see power cells after this game. Not that I know of anyways. So, I'm going the wrong way. Over here. We should have enough for maybe like three. Which I think that's what they have left, right? No, we don't have enough for three, do we? Yeah, there's no way we have enough for three. I'm crazy. We have enough for two, though. Yay! I was going to say extortion, but technically this is an extortion. Alright already. Here's a power cell for those orb dealers. Yay, bribery. My favorite. You say I gotta grease those palms with some, uh, some legendary eggs. Alright, once we get 90 precursor orbs, that'll be it for those guys. And then we can head over here to the spider cave, which, actually, you know what? Fuck spider cave. We're not going to spider cave. We got to finish what we came to do in the uh, mountain pass. And we should get the exact amount of precursor orbs that we need to get another um, parasol. So let's go head over there and do that. Over here, good old mountain pass. We have some unfinished business. Alright. So take your zoomer. We'll fly out here. Grab those. Try not to kill myself doing this. Alright. Over here, grab this. Alright, come on, Jack. I miss it that bad. I'm not even gonna entertain the goddamn, um, whatchamacallit. The speed boost or whatever. Blue Eco. Over here, you wanna hug this corner. Grab these orbs, or miss them. You know, whatever floats your boat, whatever makes you feel good. this corner. There we go. Alright. Let's move on. Almost killed myself doing that shit. And over here, we grab this yellow vent that was close to us before. Shoot this boulder. That's how you get that. And all we have left to do is collect the rest of those scout flies and uh, get a precursor orbs and then mountain pass should be over with. Also, blow those up. Get them out your way. Nobody needs them. You don't need them. They here for. They ain't here to do nothing but kill you. And being dead is bad. You don't want that. You know, unless you're like, have some kind of funky ass immortal curse or something. Where, like, you live forever, but your body still ages. Like, I don't know, like Wolverine or some shit. That's our last scout fly. 
and the rest is just precursor orbs, like the one that's magically floating behind us that we have to jump up and get. So, come over here. Let's head all the way back, because I'm pretty sure there's like some boxes or something floating around here. There we go. Be pretty thorough with this. We don't want a repeat of the Sly Cooper, now do we? Be pretty thorough. <laughs> Alright. I think... There has to be, like, an orb that we're missing back here or something, right? There should be. Alright. Not that I see. Head over here to the secret pass or whatever. Maybe there's, like, a box in there or something. Don't want to end up missing that. I don't think so, though. Alright. So I believe the only precursor orb that's left... Yep, is that magic wand flight floating in the sky. Alright. So where's that jump at? Did we pass the jump? Nope, that's the jump. That's the jump. Oh, we don't need no speed boost for that. We can just grab that. Cool. And then we're done with Mountain Pass. Unless there's a hidden precursor. I mean, precursor. Unless there's a hidden power cell that I don't know about. We're done with Mountain Pass. Now we can head towards the Spider Caves. We don't have enough precursor orbs to grab that last uh, power cell from that. From the Hothead. But that's okay. Because once we're done with the Spider Caves. And we grab, you know, we do a bit of hop and a skip. We jump. And do that over there. You know? We do our platform thing. Do our collecting thing. You know, like it's Pokemon. Gotta get them all. Okay. Thank you, Zoomer. You have served me well. I will see you in a little bit. And by a little bit, I mean about like 40 minutes from now, probably depending on how bad I am at this game. So over here, I believe, in this corner, tucked away, bow. It's a scout fly. You grab that. That's the only thing at the entrance. Let's run over here. I believe at... I believe at 72 power cells or 74, you can, you can actually leave this area if you wanted to. You don't need to collect them all. But we're madmen. We're crazy, and that's why we out here collecting them, grabbing them up. Hey guys, by my calculations, it's going to take 72 power cells to fuel the Ichu. Yeah, 72. Lava on the way to Gaul and Maya Citadel. So we have a good number of uh, power cells. So we can beat the game right now if we felt like it. But that's not what we're here to do. We're here to get that 100%. Because with that 100%, you get yourself a nice, a nice little sneak preview. Get a little hidden ending. Taking our sweet time. So, over there, where we're heading towards right now, I believe this leads us to Spider Cave. want to grab this come, come on come on Jack come on I'm not crouching he's doing it himself lava tube oh never mind shit wrong place I always forget it the other way it's where we want to go lava tubes head towards going my citadel you don't want to do that yet so let's just enjoy our ride you know just have a good old time the wheels on the on little mine thing go round and round. What the fuck are the purposes of this thing? Actually, now that I think about it. Like, they are mine carts, but like, they're just flat on the top. There's nothing carrying them. They lead, like, to nowhere. 
We can come back for that. I'm not too worried about that. And up there, you may notice a nice little chest. Well, up there, that, my friend, houses the power cell. But in order to get that, that requires kind of strict timing. But we'll go and get that in a little bit. But more importantly, besides getting all those precursor orbs, time to deal with the spider caves. Now, I do like the way this area looks. I actually do like it aesthetically. I just don't like the layout of it. Those are the spiders in the spider caves. You know, not too frightening for those who are like me and hate those little bastards. So what you want to do here in the spider caves, besides obviously avoid the dark ego. Come on, motherfucker. Come on. Come on, bastard. There you go. Is you want to find yourself a nice yellow eco vent. I think there's one down here. Let me see. This should be the closest yellow eco vent. Uh, don't worry about those, like, centipede lurkers. They don't pose a threat to you. They're just there to be annoying. Alright, there's nothing up there. Huh. I do not like the camera angle that I'm working with here. So over here, the shell eco vent. What you want to do? Press triangle going first person. Stand in front of it. And just start shooting. Shooting at all the damn centipedes. It's going to take some time. Lead your shots. They each take about three hits, I want to say. Two hits, maybe. I think one hit if you hit the head. But, knowing this damn thing takes forever to aim correctly. Old PS2 aiming techniques. Okay, got that guy. You know when they're dead when they drop precursor orbs that you'll have to pick up later. Uh, these things have pretty long range, so don't worry too much about it. It's just leading your shots. Trying to get them. I think I got that one. Nope, we hit him once, but he's not dead yet. This is what the spider cave is about. You shooting and lean your shots. Alright, he's dead. We got him. This guy's next. These guys move all over the place. I cannot predict their patterns. Alright, he's done. This guy over here. This might be a terrible angle we're working with. Did I get him? Yeah, we killed that guy. He's done. And this is definitely a terrible angle to work with, so let's move on. There should be another one up here somewhere. Oh. I didn't know there was a guy up here. Let's head back down a little bit. We have the perfect angle to deal with this guy. So, you know, just keep shooting like a madman. This one should be the easiest. There we go. He's down. And you may notice, over there, I think we can shoot those. Oh my god, if the fucking wood in the way. Nope. Oh, we can, actually. So those are Dark Eco Crystals. Old Samos the Sage wants us to get rid of those. I believe there's a total of four or five of them in this area. So we have two of these buggy boos left. I completely fucked this up, and we're gonna die for it. <laughs> That's amazing. But that's okay, because it brings us down here. And down here, we can collect our orbs. If memory serves me right, 
there should be an eco vent nearby. Probably up here. Yep, there it is. I see it. Alright. Up here. I do not think that there's any uh, precursor orb boxes anywhere. So we have a great angle to deal with these guys. So that guy's done for. Then we have this guy. He's done for. And there should be one more left somewhere. Somewhere that I can't see right now. Oh, here he is. I believe this is the last one. Once you kill all of them, you get a nice hand dandy uh, power cell. We'll go pick that up later. Because since we're over here, I believe this should lead us to some more adventure to be had. There should be a scout fly over here somewhere or something. Make sure you grab your precursor orbs. Taking some leap of fates here. Alright. Hop on over. Claim thy prize. You worked very hard for it. And by you, I mean Jack. Daxter did absolutely nothing. He doesn't pull his weight until the second game. Fucking freeloader. Over here, eating my damn food. Not paying rent and shit on my shoulder. The only benefit I get from him is that, you know, helps out with arm day a little bit. Get that shoulder strength up. So when people look at me, I can have the meanest shrug known to mankind. Be like, I don't know. You struck those shoulders. Be like, man, how you struck those shoulders like that? It's crazy. Put a rat on your shoulder. Oh, come on, Jack. You can reach that. You can reach that. Daxter, fucking grab it. You're right there. <sighs> Son of a bitch. Alright, cool. I don't want to waste the effort. Alright. Over here, grab these. And then we can move on. After I look up here, I want to make sure there's nothing. Yeah. I hear a scout fly. Also, we have to grab that. I'll save that for last. Once I get these motherfuckers. Alright. Uh, we're gonna remember the location of that yellow eco vent. We're gonna get really familiar with that location. Promise you that. But hop on down. And head over here. So we can deal with the other areas of the spider cave. So over here, this place isn't too difficult. I remember I sat here and I died here multiple times because I was just trying to speed through it. Not like a speed run, I just didn't want to wait for the platforms. But over here, touch this, move to the side. Damn it. I missed it, but that's okay. As long as our progress is saved, that's all that matters. Over here, we'll do this. I believe there will be a yellow eco vent close by for this, so take a nice leap. This is the last time you're ever gonna dive underwater in this game. They had to use it at least one last time. And move on with our lives. Wow. I went for the longest ledge that there was. 
That was all my bad. That was all me. My B guys. Oh, over jumped it. Or jumped it, tried to correct, and I fucked it up. Come on. Come to me, platform. You know you want to. That sounds really creepy now that I say that out loud. Alright. Over here, I believe. Yes, this is the dark part of the caves. So you want to smack these crystals, lighten up your path. This area is not too difficult, even without the light source. It's fairly easy. But it is pretty dark. And I'm just going to ignore you. It's not worth it. Over here, take a little deep tour. Don't forget this. I lied earlier. This is the last time you'll ever dive. And I believe that's the last crystal, if I'm right. Nope, I'm not. Did it drop a power cell? Nope, it didn't. Alright, cool. There's one more crystal somewhere around here. But until then, we move on. I'm gonna hop down here. Redo that. Just so I can see what the hell I'm doing. Hit a crystal to get some light. Yeah, I know, Daxter. You ain't gotta tell me, man. We just wait for this. That crystal's gonna run out of light. Oh. We're actually pretty good right now. I just like smacking this crystal. Until this platform comes over. Then we have all the time in the world. I believe that's it for this area. I don't think there's anything else besides like maybe a scout fly or something up here. If memory serves correctly. And claim thy power cell. You deserve it. For brave in the dark. You know? You worked hard for it. Pat yourself on the back. You did a great job. Out here saving the world. Doing what no man would ever do. Running into the darkness. Like a madman. I believe there's supposed to be like a eco vent here or something. Let me see. I think I actually gotta head to one of the eco vents and like run all the way over here. Yeah, I think that's what we gotta do, sadly. Let's see. Is there, where's the nearest eco vent? Oh, here it is. It's not too bad. Grab thy golden flame. And make a mad dash. I don't want to do the rolling jump because I don't want to kill myself. Alright. Now we can move on. We don't need to come back to this area for nothing. It's good. The less of Spider Cave we have to do, the better. So, moving on to greener pastures. I guess we can grab that that beautiful parasol that's been staring at us the whole entire time. It's not too hard to do. Just requires some patience, right? And if, you know, history repeats itself, me, I'm not good with patience. There we go. And 
just like that. Look at your brand new spanking power cell. I don't know what the rest of those little floating places are for. Maybe just the fucking... Did I call them places? My bad. Little footholds. Platforms. I'm trying to get a good lay of the land. I don't think there's anywhere else we have to go, like, elevated. Besides, like, over there. You know what? Actually, let's deal with that right now. If we fall straight into the dark ego, then so be it. Wow, I just killed myself. That was wonderful. But hey, we respond here. That's great. So over here. Right? Jump up here. Hop and skip. So might as well kill the spider, right? So what you want to do, it's a very tight timing. You're gonna roll over there and make a mad dash. Now I believe it might be easier to do it from there, but you also have to deal with the high high jump or whatever, so it really doesn't matter which way you take it. I like doing it here because it's more straightforward. So do that. I might have fucked it up. Don't bother with double jumps if you don't need them. Come on. And then, just shoot. I shot the wrong direction, but you're trying to just... Don't even aim, just jump and shoot once you get up here. It's basically what you're doing. And you're just running that timer. I'm pretty sure I don't even have to jump on those. I can just drop. And it's probably easier to do it from here. You know? It is a shorter distance. But where's the fun in that? I find it easier to do it from here. I'm used to doing it from here. You know? Get yourself a little challenge. Why, hey there, Lenny. What do you want with my pathetic life good old friend came to visit the stream I'll look at him isn't he wonderful that guy that guy right there that fucking guy so we're gonna make a fucking mad dash like a madman and fuck it all up Damn it. Hop on down. I love making life harder for me. It's about the little things, you know? Give yourself a nice challenge. Whether it's you actually challenging yourself or just that good old pride getting in your way. Just fucking it up. Fucking it up like that. Just like that. Running straight there. Yeah, I definitely messed that one up. Yeah, I'm not doing it. <laughs> yeah, just might as well just run back. Might as well just run back. Run it back. All right, all right, Jack. For some reason you decided not to jump that time. That was amazing. You know I always believe in you, Jack. Set your mind to it. You can do anything you believe in. You can fuck it all up if you want to. Or you can just kill yourself. You know you can do that too. You just ruin it, ruin it all. Now, for some reason, high jump won't work. There you go. Alright. This is my last attempt. If I fuck this up... Alright, I did fuck it up. Now this is my last attempt, so I fuck it up, we'll do it the easy way. Oh, come on. Come on, Jack. Come on, Jack. Come on, Jack. I believe in you. You can do it, buddy. You can do it. You can do it. And we did it. Hell yeah. Get my damn power cell.
all that work for a measly power cell. Now I believe there's only two power cells left that we need to get? Yes. One of them is the scout fly and the other one is the platforming section that we have yet to do. Which, oh, look at that, precursor orbs, I didn't even know those were there. Let's grab those. Grab onto these. Dear life. You know? These are precious to you. You need these. They keep you going. They what you live for. It's your money. We'll come back for that. Oh, there's the last. Dark crystal. Yep. Definitely knew that was gonna happen. But it still counted. Hell yeah. Look at that. Good job. Good job, everybody. You did it. Don't know why I did that, but I did that. I regretted it the moment I jumped. Alright. Now we're here. We got these drillers. Right? They're gonna run their pattern. But the moment you step on their turf, they're gonna make a mad dash towards you. So just... Get them when they're not looking. You know, the coward's tactic. The true way of fighting. The coward way. The only way. Alright. So over here... This is the spider's nest for the spider's cave. So take your sweet time. And you just want to spam fire button because you need to grab those precursor orbs we'll get them on our when we run back all right good thing though is that once you destroy the little spider eggs there's way less of them to deal with That's it for that area. And then we move on to the steak and potatoes, right? Our platforming section for this area. Nothing too hard. Nothing you can't do. We've been doing this all day. This whole entire game has been training you for this. It's also been training you for that frame rate drop. Well, if you're playing the PS4 version anyways. Don't know what the hell they did to optimize the PS4 version, but it sucks. <laughs> they fucked it up. That's what they did. Alright, ran out of our fireballs. I panicked. Not gonna lie, I panicked. I didn't want to get hit by the spikes. And I just jumped off. To my doom. Alright. Come on, buddy. Turn around. Make it easy for me. Why, thank you. Excuse me? Did that fireball knock out? Okay. That was weird. Head over here. Hop and skip. Shoot your fireball. Kill that guy. Should be our last scout fly. Nope, there's one more. I believe it's up top, actually. I lied. I'm a chronic liar.
Gonna wait for this elevator to go on down. Come on, elevator. You can do it. I believe in you. Alright, cool. Grab these. Nothing too hard about it. Pretty easy. You don't even gotta jump on the damn thing. Just make sure I grab that last precursor orb. Alright, we're good. Back on the elevator we go. Alright. Let's see. This leads to nowhere. So we must head over here. This guy's gonna be a pain in the ass. really nothing over there unless you need some health. Yep. Almost into the pit. That would have been embarrassing. I believe you can actually make this jump if you angle it correctly. Yeah, there you go. That's my damn shortcut. I'm not doing that shit all over again. You crazy? I've been working my ass off. Jump over that fire with some style. I'm waiting for this guy to turn around. So I can just make my life easy. Or not. That was bullshit, man. And you know it. Come over here and get some life. I need it. We can make this jump, too. Yeah. We can just make this jump. Just gotta get this lurker out my way. Lurking. Gooning. Being a fucking mook. Look at that guy. Who's that guy? I don't know who that guy is. Alright. Here, you don't gotta worry about it too much. Just time your jumps. Everything shall be fine. Alright, good job, Jack. Just like that, you're owner of a new damn power cell. Alright. Did we collect the last scout fly? I don't think so. No, we didn't. I wonder where that damn thing is. It should be here somewhere, actually. Probably back in like the first area or something like that. Alright. How the hell do I get to that area again? It's been a damn while. Okay. Nothing too difficult. Hop on down. go. Alright, that's pretty easy. I 
I believe. That. Grab these blue ecos to make our life a little bit easier to collect than the rest of those, um, whatchamacallit. Alright, Jack, you could have grabbed that. You know you could have grabbed it. You were here being goofy. My man over here, fucking Danny Phantom, through the goddamn. through the poles. I believe. That is all the precursor orbs on this little section over here. Yeah. Alright, so we move on through. Oh, there it is. Here's the last one. Almost missed that. And all we have left for our precursor orbs in this area is, I believe, just the ones that are in the boxes and maybe some towards the front area that we missed. Um, let me see. There should be... serves me correctly. Wait for this guy to pass by. Right, good. Alright, I believe we gotta grab that, um... Wasn't there boxes over here? Am I crazy? I might be crazy. Yes, there are boxes over here. I mean, that'll be easy to grab. And hopefully each box has five precursor orbs, and that'll be the last of them. Just hop up here. Grab this. I believe we have enough time to do this. Might be cutting it close though. Alright. We are missing what, two? We're missing four. They have to be down here somewhere. They have to be at, like, one of the platforms where we, uh, killed those lurker centipedes. Or just floating in the air. Like a mystical egg in the sky. Let's see. Come on, Jack. There you go. See, I knew you can do it. I believe in you, man. Set your mind to it, you can do anything you believe in. You can fly. I'm being real. In the second game, he starts flying. Not even the second game. Well, yeah, the second game, but even the third game, he flies. Like, legitly. That man grows wings. Where the hell is this precursor orbs at? We might have let them back in that platforming section. Which I really hope that's not the case. Yeah, I think we left the back there. I 
probably near the what you call it, the spider's nest. That's probably the most likely area. Let me see. Instantly killed myself. Goofy. But it checkpointed me over here, so that's all good. I'm not worried about it. Let's see. If I can locate them. Let's check this area first. Jack. Oh, there we go. Alright, now we are done with the spider caves. Don't have to deal with this shit no more. All that's left to do is grab the last uh, power cell from those scout flies in the volcanic crater and then... And then we have to pay up to the hothead. Come take me away, good old mine. Minecart, wherever the hell you are. Grab this scout fly on the way out. Get our power cell. And then we shall move on with our merry cells. If the camera would work with me, that would be lovely. Now, I would run along the tracks, but you can actually fall between the cracks and the goddamn floor. So right now, just taking a sweet old joyride. Having a good time. Go ahead, get yourself a drink, make yourself a sandwich, do your taxes. You got all the time in the world doing this shit. Alright. Off to grab that last power cell. And then it's off to, uh, what's it called? Lava tube? Where the hell? Pay up, bitch. Oh, oh, yeah, I got it this time. Uh, he's a, he's a, uh, Today, Junior, you can make it. Do it. Yeah, yeah. What he said. That's it. You cleaned us out. No more power cells. All right. Good shit. I thought that this area would take us about two hours. We're doing good. Took us about, uh, what was it, 10 minutes to start the stream? Took us about, like, an hour and 20? That's good. We're making great time. Great time. Even with all the hiccups that I've been doing. So now that we got everything within this area. Our cave, mountain, blah, blah. Cool. We can head to the lava tube and head to Golemaya Citadel, which is the last area in the game. It's not even a hub world, it's just like a gauntlet. But first, we gotta take ourselves a, a good old round trip around here. It's a one way street only. Jack over here breathing. He can hardly wait. His excitement. 
All right. Hey, Kara, what's up? How are you not burning up, standing, like, very close to that lava? Now Jack's standing on the lava, like he's crazy. He's a madman. Oh yes, balloons, they shall help us. Alright. So over here, in the lava tubes, there's only two, um, two power cells you should worry about. Which is the, I'm gonna have to come back for that fucking precursor, or... Which is the goddamn scout flies. Hopefully you can get them in one run. And just getting to the end. Other than that, there's nothing else. Besides that, and grabbing the precursor orbs, you should be good. I'm just blatantly missing these. Grab that. It's not too bad. Whatchamacallit. The moment I say that, I kill myself. Great. But we got a checkpoint. So over here, just shoot these. Don't go all the way towards the middle. You should be fine. You should be crystal. Alright. Time for the second half. You now have mines. Avoid the mines. You hit them, they blow up. Pretty simple, right? And you have these nice little narrow jumps to make. No railing. So just... You can take your time with this. Since you're not directly over lava. But I mean, what's the, where's the fun in that? Take your time. Who does that? Just be crazy with it. And you'll make it through perfectly, just like that. I can't even see where I'm landing. Oh shit. Yep, that was gonna happen. Alright. Back to our checkpoint. Alright. Yet again, once you're on these railings, take your sweet time. You're not directly above lava, or anything, right? Come on, give me that. There you go. Thread the needle. Definitely wasn't making that. No way. And there's our power cell. Only power cell in this area we should worry about. We're gonna have to come back through, though, to grab the, uh, whatchamacallit. The rest of those precursor orbs. It's not too many of them. There's only like 50 in this area. And just like that, congratulations. You made it to the Yellow Sage's lab. Which is just like this space at the end of the fucking... At the end of the tunnel. I see no lab here. But here's his teleporter. Hold up, is that a lab? Nope, it's just garbage. Hey! Where's old short green and wrinkly? This is terrible! Father is missing. I think Gaul and Maya may have kidnapped him as well. Relax, sweetheart. I got everything under control. Under control? Lurker armies continue to grow across the land. The sages have been kidnapped. Gaul and Maya have gathered enough eco to complete their terrible plan. And to stop them, you're going to have to fight your way through their citadel. Uh, yeah. That about uh, sums it up. You've got to rescue my father before it's too late. And Jack, be careful. Yeah, we will be. <laughs> gotta feel bad for Dax here sometimes. Sometimes, until like the second game.
you know, he gets his break. But they really give him, they really give him no space here in the first game. Like, ever. Oh my god. That was goofy. So we're gonna head back, right? And grab the rest of those precursor orbs that I missed on purpose. And then once we do that, we're gonna march our way through Golemaya Citadel. And that should be that. That area's not too long. Come on, grab that balloon. Probably wasted my time grabbing that balloon, but whatever. I needed it at the moment. Yeah, I'm about to burn up and die. Good thing about being up here, though, it cools you off. So you don't gotta worry about it. This time I'm going to take my sweet time, because I don't want to do this shit over again. That, and might as well let the heat gauge get as low as it possibly can. Alright, be careful, Jack. And just like that. Just like that. Beautiful. Aw, oh, come on. Jump down, Jack. We gotta do that shit again. I can barely fucking see if this camera don't work with me, goddammit. Alright. Alright, see, not too bad. Make our way through here. Come on. Turn around. Grab these orbs. This is... Nope. There should be, like, one left. One or two left that I just, like, blatantly missed early on. Alright. Calm down. We're gonna blow up. I get it. I get it, game. I started panicking. Alright. Back here. Instantly to our death. Great. Amazing. Fucking splandiferous. You did a great job. Okay. Grab this. We're still about to blow up. Give me some breathing room, damn it. I'm gonna grab this before I die. Fuck you, game. You can't tell me what to do. Alright. So now we can make our way back. Shouldn't be too hard. We'll do it in one shot. Completely missed that balloon. On purpose. I meant to do it. That's just how crazy I am. You know? I take risk. Big risk taker here. Hard parts over. All right, that was great. That was amazing. Good job. Just, just smack dab right up there, huh? Hit your forehead on the fucking pipe.
Come on, get on the teleporter. You can do it. Don't be scared. It's your friend. Alright. That's the last of the fucking zoomer we'll ever see. In this game, at least. So here at Golmai Citadel, all the sages have been captured. As Samos shall tell us right now. It's about time you two decided to show up. Nice to see you, too. Do they have you mopping the floors now? There's no time for jokes, Nectar. Gaul and Maya kidnapped us to sap our energies to power their abominable machine. It appears they have combined the functional remains of a precursor robot with scavenged artifacts from across the land. Then they added a few diabolical additions of their own, creating the one thing capable of opening the dark eco silos. If you can free the four of us, we can use our combined powers to break the force shield surrounding the robot before they use it to destroy the world. All right, Jack, I don't know why you were magically floating there. But here's going my sit though. Everything here is straightforward. It's not hub world, it's just one big level. So, only things you got to worry about are these orbs and your uh, scout flies. And that's pretty much it. As long as you do everything that's in front of you, should have no problem. I say no problem, then I almost die. Look at that. Again, rotating platforms. The greatest test of patience that there is out there. And how I have none. Wait for this to make its way. So I believe this path lets us free the blue sage first. Jump here. Jump here. I missed that. Going back to get it. Damn it. Come on. Reset it. I was close enough. Got the precursor orbs, that's all that matters. I almost fucked that up royally. That would have been hilarious. So over here, we have ourselves a nice little hallway. We might want to open some of those boxes first. Just power yourself up with that good old yellow juice. And prepare yourself for the storm. Now to be honest, you'd probably do way better without that power up. But then you get this power up. And your life becomes a little bit more easy. I'm trying to get rid of all these guys. There you go. Once you get up here and destroy this part. These uh, generators are rogue hell. They no longer spawn, or they shouldn't at least. So you can be on your merry way. Grab your precursor orbs. Get whatever boxes you missed. Come on, come on, Jack. Jack, it's right there. Thank you. All right. Here, we have some more platforms to deal with. And 
and another fucked up camera angle. Oh, is this the yellow sage? No, this is the red sage. So for some reason in this game, the sages have power to channel all this eco, right? Now, you will never see these sages ever again. The only one you'll see is Samos. He sticks around. But for some reason, Samos never uses any of these abilities ever again. If my man has the ability to throw Kamehame Hob Blast, right? Then you better be putting some work in. So over here. Make sure we backtrack and grab our scout fly. And then we can be on with our merry way. Alright. Next sage to go. Totally fucked that up. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Come on, bring him back. There you go. So was that one fucking precursor? Oh, no. Now, I believe the precursor orbs don't really count for um, for getting the cutscene for 100%. I believe all you really need is the, um, whatchamacallit, the power cells. But I mean, come on, man. It's not truly 100% unless you get everything in the collect-a-thon. Oh no, we ran into another rotating platform, and it will be the death of me. Holy shit. Ow. I usually never get hit by that. Okay, oh, what the hell just happened there? I don't want to do a rolling jump, but I have to. There we go. Now where the hell? Oh, there it is. Come back to me, platform. I need you. I can't live my life without you, buddy. Did I grab all the orbs? Yes, I did. Time to move on with our lives. I do not like this rotating bullshit. Aww, oh, I need that... I need that blue energy, man. I need the good shit. I'm gonna get hurt. I'm gonna get hurt. That was close. Alright. Let's do that again. I almost killed myself jumping off because I thought these were like safely on a platform. They weren't. I was lied to. Come on. 
Speed it up. Speed up. Speed up. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. I can't see. Yikes. Camera really fucked me on that one. Where the hell am I? I'm all the way back here. Oh, uh, excuse me? What was that about, Jack? That was really, uh, goofy of you, Jack. Out here making me look bad. You're supposed to be my wingman. You wanna grab the ledge this time, Jack? You wanna do that? I'll take the hit. Fuck it. I don't like doing this rolling jump. That's why. That's exactly why. Come on, Jack. Come on, Jack. You out here making some daring jumps. I forgot I had to do a roll jump over there. I got scared. See, the scary part isn't dying. The scary part is doing it all over again. Because I thought I'd be checkpointed all the way over here. But I wasn't. And I also wasn't expecting knockback. All right. Thank you, animation. That was lovely. Taking away my jump. We're having a repeat of Sly Cooper. That's what we're doing. Out here fucking it up at the last second. Take the hit. I'm not even gonna... I'm not even gonna do the rolling jump anymore. You're untrustworthy. Come on. Come on, Jack. You gotta stop doing that. You're scaring me. You two camera. Stop your bullshit. I'll just wait it out. I'll just wait it out. We got time. No, we don't. No, we don't. No, we don't. That was stupid what I just did. I'll come back for that. We'll come back for that. Guy's a fucking nerd. All right. Remember when I said I'll come back for it? I did. Fuck you, game. I ain't playing your fucking. I ain't playing by your rules. Fuck you and your rules. All right. Next thing's up. I believe we gotta save the Yellow Sage now. Make good progress out here. I say that I feel like I'm missing something. This better not be like, better not be any secret shit in the corner out there. Like over there. <sighs> Damn it, we gotta go back. <laughs> I knew I was missing something. I felt it. Alright, where's the platform? No fucking way. 
You can't be serious. Checkpoint me. Yeah, fuck you, game. I'm not playing by your rules. And the thing's not even over there. It's over there. I bet you can make that jump. I bet you can make that jump with some crazy precision. Yeah, it's up there. Near the Yellow Sage. Alright, cool. I committed suicide for no reason. Story of my life. Moving over here. Don't know why this platform is moving so damn slow. Alright. Moving on. This area isn't too bad. Just grab your orbs. Grab your scout fly. Take your leaps of fate. Grab the rest of these orbs. All right, cool. Oh, I may have fucked it up. No, we're good. We're good. We're crystal. We're doing it. We're doing it with the precision of a fucking god. We're at a blue eco. Take the, the baby bitch short jump. I'm risky, but I ain't that risky. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Don't worry, we'll be back for that. Just like that, Yellow Sage Rescue. My fucking leg is falling asleep. The game glitched out for a moment. I was like, excuse me? Oh, climb out those platforms, you say? Well, first things first. I ain't playing your games. Get my fucking precursor orbs. You think I'm playing around out here? What I said, 100%. I fucking meant it. Alright. Now, over here, we gotta deal with this mess. Uh-oh. Cool. Grab the scout fly. And we're good. Oh, come on. Come on, you can't be doing that. Moving all slow and shit. Alright. Moving on in the world. Come on, do your little attack. There you go. me. Thank you. Come on, camera. Work with me a little bit here. When I can't look directly below me, it kind of scares me a bit. I'm not gonna lie. Cool. Time to go rescue old Samos. There's a fucking mosquito or something flying in my room. Oh. That's the entrance. Where is the other place? Hmm. 
Excuse me. Pardon. Thank you. I'm not gonna be heading over there. Oh, it's up there. Alright. Now onward to save our good old friend Samos. Actually, is this the right way? It is the right way. It's just scary. I don't like how these platforms are. They're too high. And I can't see them. Threat that needle. Come on, game. You can't be doing this. Can't be doing this. Oh my god, there's no opening here. I'm gonna die. Where where do I go? What the hell? What was that about? Scout flies we have? Six. Alright, cool. And we have 99? Exactly. It's like a baby mosquito in my room. I'm gonna kill him right after the stream. He shall know the wrath. Come on. So, while you're climbing this, you should really make sure that you've collected everything that you needed. Check your totals and everything, which I should be doing right now. Because making your way back down from here, it's, it's kind of difficult, actually. Because the camera doesn't work with you. And then if you die on your way down, then it checkpoints you all the way back up here. I also think you can possibly glitch out the game by doing that shit. So that's the last power cell we needed, but that's not all of them. There's one left. That's right, this game has 101 power cells. And I believe a total of uh, 2,500 precursor orbs. Oh no, it has more than that, all right. That's the last precursor orb, and this is the last power cell. With that, we have saved all the sages, saved Samos, and now we need to go battle Golem Maya. Give him the good old one four. Real heroes now. I'll combine my green eco power with the other three sages, and together we'll open the shield door surrounding the precursor robot. Yeah, yeah, that sounds like a good start. And then after you guys open that shield, what are you gonna do about the robot? Nothing, Daxter. We have to keep the shield open. It's up to you two to figure out how to destroy the robot. Oh, great. I get to help the guy that turned me into a furball. Hey, I ain't turn you into shit, you Daxter. First, save the world. My bad, I guess he was talking about Gaul. He was pointing at me. Maya, I feel bad that I'm going to have to hurt you. You're so precious. Thy queen. I mean, Daxter should be the last person talking about beauty. He was pretty ugly before he turned into a rat. Like Maya, she's looking fine. Like she's a little bit darker than normal. But that's alright, I see no problem with that. I've watched Teen Titans. I've seen Raven. That girl's gray. <laughs> alright. Time for the final confrontation, which I always fuck up. It's not really that hard of a fight. I, I just suck. 
so, if you're low on health, make sure you grab some, right? Get the full health. That fourth hit will definitely do you wonders. So we have to stop the robot from opening the great silos of Dark Eco. And how we do that? By dropping frame rates. So keep those little green eco orbs at bay, right? Um, aren't we supposed to be shooting them in the face? There we go. Jack's supposed to like auto aim at that, but he wasn't doing it for some reason. So as the fight progresses, they'll definitely um open the silo up slowly but surely. When they put that bomb up, grab the blue eagle, hop on the jump pad, and that opens up the silo for them. That silo is a one-way tick to hell. If you wanna fucking jump down there, go ahead be your guest. They then show you green ego to bring dark ego to life. In which you'll have to fight these guys. Which, you can't punch them. You have to shoot them. The problem is, since you get stuck in the animation sometimes, they will crowd you. And there'll be more of them as the fight goes on. Then they show unleash Red Ego, right? Oh no, she's putting that mine up. You have a lot of time in the world to avoid that, so don't worry about it. And then the camera doesn't want to help you. So then they shall start firing Red Ego, right? And what you'll explode, and you'll have to jump over them. Or die and do it all over again. Thanks a lot, game. Now, this is where the PS4 version really sucks. Because during this whole entire fight, it's not enough that the camera doesn't help you by default. Oh my god. And you have the blue ego grabbing that fucking green ego, fucking it all up. Look at that. Blue Eco, I hate you sometimes. That was my fucking lifeline, and it's gone now. But yeah, not only that you have the camera working against you, on the PS4 version, you have the wonderful delight of constant frame drops. Oh my god, you guys are fucking fast. Finish the once and for all. Come on. Stop looking at them, Jack. I don't need to look at them. And the camera's not helping when it turns like that. Really ain't helping. So I'm gonna stay towards the middle. That's what I'm gonna do. Oh shit, I didn't even see that. That was my fault. So grab that yellow eco, shoot their turrets. I was being greedy. Not gonna lie about that one. Oh my god. I double jumped, but it didn't register. I'm one hit till dead. This is where that green eco would come in handy. But obviously we can't do that, you know, because blue eco over here ate it up. We're definitely not gonna make it this round, and if we do, it's a blessing. Oh shit. Not gonna lie, forgot about that. Fuck you, Dexter. You know, why don't you, like, 
run around and do something. Like, jump inside the fucking mech and just, like, start biting their ankles or some shit. Alright. Wanna run the other way so I don't grab that fucking green eco. Stay far away from that. Stay far away from it unless I need it. Alright. Uh oh. I ran straight into that. Well, technically, Jack ran straight into it with his, yeah, I got eco animation. Oh my god. That's what I mean. They crowd you. They surround you. Now I believe if you take too long with them, they'll drop the uh, the blue eco bomb regardless. Now this time I actually do want to grab that green eco because I did get hit. So I'd rather have the full health. Looking pretty good. Just hope they don't fuck up my double jump like they did last time. Trying to force this. Getting a little greedy. Come on, give me my eco. Oh shit. I didn't even see that last one. There we go. Alright. Two hits. I'll take it. Gonna walk around the edge here. So I can get near that blue eco. As fast as possible. Alright. Now this one, I'm pretty sure you can roll out the way. It's kind of risky. But as long as you're moving from side to side, you should be... Pretty fine. The only problem is these corners and me grabbing this damn eco. Oh, the frame rates went up. Turn, 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 buddy. Good shit. Daxter decides to save the world instead of turning back. Now what's weird is that there we go. There's multiple clusters of white ego, right? Daxter could have easily grabbed one of them. But just like that, we defeated Golden Maya. And they are doomed to drown within the silos for all eternity. Then you get this weird cliffhanger where Samos is going to say maybe they're not gone for good. But guess what? They're gone for good. Because whatever storyline they had for this fucking game series, they just fucking they threw it in the garbage and said, Hey man, you seen that Grand Theft Auto? That looks pretty crazy. And then they made a clone of that for Jack 2, and then they, you know, did it better in Jack 3. And as for Daxter and Frontier, I haven't even touched those fucking games, so I don't know what the hell goes on in that. 
I don't think anyone really cared about Daxter or Frontier. People cared about Agent Clank more than they care about Daxter. Right? But, that's pretty much it for Jack and Daxter. All there's left is to enjoy our scene, enjoy the credits, and enjoy our secret ending that we get for doing 100%. Well, not 100%, that we get for collecting all 101 power cells. The Dark Eco probably destroyed them. Probably. Yes, they've probably been destroyed. Maybe. Who knows? I said, right, Jack? Wow! Put it on ice, big guy! Fucking that guy. That guy, Daxter. That guy, Daxter, right there. Who the fuck's that guy? So, to my knowledge, I don't think they ever... I don't think... Like, I'm pretty sure it's, uh implied that Jack and Kira get together even after all the the games that happen but I don't see it actually happen Daxter gets a girlfriend that's hard confirmed right but you know once Jack becomes edgy he has his emo phase and everything like that we all had our emo phase grow our hair out grow our hair out longer get goatees that type of stuff you know carry around a futuristic shotgun I believe I can skip this right oh there we go I would like to give credit for what credit is due, but some of these credits roll long, so unfortunately, we're just gonna skip them, right? But hey guys, you made a great game. Also, there's a lot of people in this who have aliases instead of their real names, because that was back in that back in those days. Holy yakko! What could that be? Wow! It's an ancient precursor door. It looks like it will only open if we fill all 100 holes with power cells. Uh, we're heroes, remember? We have 100 power cells. This looks fucking awkward as shit. I love how they say all 100 power cells, but you need 100. 101 for completion. I'm gonna believe- I'm gonna assume that that extra one power cell that you have is probably whatever they used to power it in the beginning of two. But, for those who play 2, right, it's no uh, surprise, they unlock a precursor machine that's basically a time machine. But not just any time machine, it's, I'm assuming it's apparently the same time machine they they got here with? I don't know. Yeah, that's right, Jack's from, Jack's from the future. It's crazy, man. But anyways, that's Jack and Daxter, right? Made by Naughty Dog. The last time they ever felt like being creative before they fucking said, Hey, let's make games about gruff, tough men and shooting and hiding behind cover. And then they got a little crazy and they said, Okay, instead of making games about gruff, tough men shooting behind cover, now we're going to make games about gruff, tough women behind cover. And they're like, Oh shit, we're making money moves out here. We're doing some shit. Crazy, right? Definitely haven't seen that before as I stare at Tomb Raider and just constantly stare at it. That doesn't exist. Man, they didn't just rip off a of Tomb Raider once. They did it twice. Holy shit. Uncharted? And then they were like, what if, what if Uncharted, but zombies? Then they made fucking... Then they made Last of Us. Then they said, what if Last of Us, but female? And they made fucking Last of Us 2. Yeah. So, if you ever want to look up anything, there's definitely some, like, concept art for what would have been Jack 4. No, Frontier is not Jack 4. Don't ever call it Jack 4. What would have been Jack 4, they, uh, they had, like, a... It was at some developer conference that they literally put the files up and they were showing them off. And then they said, well, we're never revisiting that again. And then right after their conference, I'm pretty sure someone went to those files and pressed delete on all of them. We'll never get Jack 4, ever. You got a better chance of getting Sly 5. As I cry inside, staring at fucking Ratchet and Clank getting their second game in their reboot. I love Ratchet and Clank, but come on, man. There hasn't been a, there hasn't been a short of Ratchet and Clank games. They're everywhere. But, that's Jack and Daxter. We did it, guys. 100%. Beat the game. This stream took us 
about two hours and 30-ish minutes. That's pretty good. That's not bad. That's kind of where I was going for. Uh, let's see what time we are at. Because if I do have time, we can play something else for a little bit. Hmm. No, I think I'm going to call the stream right here. It's pretty early in the morning. Uh, but yeah. For everyone who stopped by, thank you for stopping by. Right? Greatly appreciate it. For those on, watching on the YouTube, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the playthrough. Hope to see you in the future streams. You know, uh, press that fucking bell if you're subscribed. If you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. If you don't want to subscribe, man, I don't care. It's not going to hurt me. But uh, other than that, yeah. Have a, have a good evening. A great night. Wonderful morning. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. You know, treat yourself something nice. Literally tell everyone who says otherwise, fuck you and fuck off. Right? And yeah, as always, thank you for tuning into the stream. And thank you for watching the video. And next time we show up, same time, uh, tomorrow, well, I guess technically, is it tomorrow? Tomorrow or today, whatever. Next time I'm going to stream, midnight, 1230 a.m., you know, all that bullshit. Uh, tomorrow night, I'm not sure what the hell I'm going to do. Uh, I have some thoughts of what I can do. But right now, there's nothing set in stone. As always, most of the updates for the stream are going to be in the YouTube community tab, so you can check that out. And yeah. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.